Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel for another mod showcase review and run through on the channel. Now today, this is a mod that I've come across and it is absolutely phenomenal. It still has very few amount of downloads for what this mod actually has to offer. I think as of recording this, it only has 150,000 downloads. And the name of this mod is called The Under Garden. It adds a brand new dimension to your Minecraft world, guys. And reading its wiki, it plans on adding another dimension in as well in future updates. But this one dimension for now will suffice as it has nine biomes for you to run around, explore, and defeat and battle some amazing and weird looking mobs in some super cool armor sets. Um, but before we get into all that guys and how to get to that dimension, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, slap that like button. It really does help the channel out guys, makes me feel good. And yeah, keeps this channel growing so I'm able to put out more videos for you guys to enjoy. Now, let's start cracking on with it properly. We are in a lovely little village today. And around us I have some of the armor sets from this mod. They are phenomenal looking for what they are. As I said, this mod is still in what I would consider early development. Um... For, for its potential future growth and I don't know why this villager is stepping to me. I don't know what that was about but these are the armor sets we have and they come with their own sets of tools and weapons each. The first armor set is the Clogrum, uh, the Clogrum set along with its Clogrum weapons and tools. The next is the Frost Steel and then followed by the Ethereum armor set and weapons and tools just like them all the rest you also have a clogroom shield and this clogroom battle axe which is awesome looking i must say and is going to be the weapon i'm going to be carrying around with us today this mod like most other uh biome extension mods adds in new food items as well for you to find eat you know from mob drops around the biome so you don't starve to death uh, also adds in a few other nifty little things like new boats and also adds in a slingshot which i just really liked um about this mod it just it just tickled me that's all i just quite enjoyed that uh, i can have a slingshot i don't know why i'm very easily pleased clearly now let me show you how we can actually get to this dimension and it is actually very very simple you don't even need that much to get there you're going to need some gold some iron and a diamond and then you're gonna that's gonna all combine together and make the catalyst now if you look at the catalyst it's actually like you can tell the crafting recipe from its look if you get what i mean you can see the iron there see the gold there you can see the diamond in the middle very I'm not I presume they meant to do that it's just nifty I enjoyed that a lot and all you're gonna have to do is right click on some stone bricks set up in the formation of a general portal has to be this shape the standard one you know to get to the nether all that good stuff you can't have any funky shapes with this one like a few of the other biome dimensions you uh, that are out there like the between lands. I think you can make any shape you want if I remember correctly But yeah, this is the shape you've got to have stone bricks and uh, yeah Let's put on some armor and gr grab out one of the weapons. So this is the strongest armor set in the game um, Technically this is the strongest but you get that from defeating the mob boss of this dimension Which we'll look at later. I'm gonna get out the battle axe because it just looks freaking awesome and who doesn't want to wield a battle axe? I'm sorry. Come on, everyone does. All right, let's hop in and take a look at some of the biomes this place has to offer. So, the nine different biomes that this mod offers are the Barren Abyss, Dense Forest, Forgotten Fields, Frost Fields, Grongle Growth, Mushroom Bog, Smog Spears, Smog Stem Forest, and Wigglewood Forest. Now, the wiki is very incomplete as this is a newer mod out there 
and there isn't that much information to tell you what is what. Um, but going from what I can see on their cur on the Curse Forge website, um, this is the Grongle Growth, and over here, if I'm not mistaken, is the Mushroom Bog. Um, you can kind of tell from the mushrooms, so that's what we're going off of, really. And then you can, you know when you get to the frost area because there's snow and you can tell what the barren abyss is because there is literally nothing there. But this does add in a lot of cool looking blocks and structures. There you go, the frost area. Um, blocks and structures to the mod guys. It is awesome. It is just another dangerous world to explore and I've just realised I've got this thing on peaceful. So you're not even seeing all the dangerous mobs popping up in here. But I know that's what you guys really want to see. So, oh, here we go. We've got our first, our first visitor today. We have a Rot Walker and we have a Stoneborn. Blends in very nicely. Clearly not friends. On the wiki though, it does tell you what is passive, what is aggressive and the boss it gives you a bit of detail on that not much it's still being waited to be filled out by someone um but there you go there's the ore of the armor i'm wearing right now guys so everything is mineable it is great and here we go we've got another cave dwelling nargle here and i think it's about time we go around and get out some more of these mobs but we're coming across a lot of them right now. So a rot beast is one of the species. There's three different types of rot monster or mob. Um, rot beast, the one we saw up here a second ago fighting. And then a smaller counterpart. But let's get there. He is uh, rot walker. And let's get to a bit of an open clearing. And then we can perhaps spawn in some of these awesome looking mobs. And uh, I've walked away from the Baron Abyss, which probably would have been a great place to spawn them all in, to be perfectly honest with you. But let's head over in this direction and explore more of the biomes. Because it, it is just beautiful, this place, guys. It looks amazing. It reminds me of a Never Expansion mod um that added in a lot of stuff like this so it is absolutely fantastic to see it but yeah let's get out some of the mobs this mod does have to offer you now we probably we'll, we'll go through and we'll get them all out one by one but we won't dwell on each one for too long because we'll be here all day otherwise now let's get out the first guy and that is a dweller a very passive looking mob and is a passive mob at that then we have the sort of the fish uh, which we saw in the streams down below and I just love the fact that these are added in I just like that I just like walking around it makes it look creepy makes it look spooky now we have the rot dweller another rot creature then we have a rotling the little baby one and then we have the rot walker the rot beast and I'll tell you what I cannot wait to use some of these in mob battles. It is going to be great. Brute looks dangerous, but is actually a neutral mob until attacked. Then we have this. I can't even pronounce it. This. I'm not even going to pronounce it because I could say something else and I don't want to say it. Uh, <laughs> but we have the, the slug of the world, which is a cool little feature as well. Then we have a gloompa. Yet again, passive. Not going to kill me. Not straight away anyway. Let's get out some of the others now. Okay, let's get rid of all of these guys. And let's go back down to here. Boom, ba -doo, ba -doo, doo. Yes. Alright, so let's grab these bad boys out. I mean, guys, I want to know what your opinion on these mobs are. Because I think they look great. And for just one dimension alone, having this ample amount of mobs... I think is absolutely fantastic and I, can't, I for one cannot wait till they bring out the other dimension to see what other mobs are added to that but here is Stoneborn which we saw earlier then we have the Nargle which we also glimpsed at down in the cave let's go over here now we have a muncher just a 
I think this was described as a utility mob, if I remember correctly. Yet again, guys, there isn't much to go on on the wiki, so it is great you get to go explore it for yourself and discover everything yourself. And then we have the Spoogly, the Sploogy, whatever you're pronouncing this weird jellyfish-like creature. And then we have a Forgotten Guardian, chilling at 100 HP, an awesome looking robotic type creature and yet again awesome just awesome design on them let me get out of my night vision because my shaders make it really dark for whatever reason uh, so I have to have night vision so everybody can see while I'm recording and then finally we have the boss of this dimension the mask masticator and that is a terrifying looking beast Either one would not want to come across this guy. He has a staggering 150 HP, which is a, which is a st substantial amount, considering the armor in this mod isn't outstanding in strength. Um, I think it's just below Neverite armor. Stronger than Diamond, the strongest one, but just below Neverite, if I'm remembering correctly. But this is a fantastic looking mob. It is a fantastic looking mod. And as I said, there is so much to explore in this land, guys. So many new bricks added in as well. You can take a little flick through and you can see all the new brick structures added in to really bolster your Minecraft world, to make it that more interesting. And I, for one, am going to be playing in this mod because I think it's absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait for one to see what else is brought out, what else is updated in this mod. And I want to know your guys' opinion. Are you going to be downloading this mod? What do you think of it? Have you played this mod already? And do you also really want mob battles from that Masticator mob? I do. I'm dying to do those. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming along today. Thank you so much for watching the video and supporting the channel. And guys, remember, if you are new, to subscribe and all that, as it does really help out the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, guys, see ya.